So it's pretty exciting. We've got our first sound playing on our app. I'm going to take a look now at the backwards compatibility of SoundPool. In the previous tutorial, I briefly pointed out these red lines that are showing some sort of an error. And if we look at the SoundPool documentation, you can see that the SoundPool constructor was deprecated in API level 21, and we have to use the SoundPool builder instead. Well, that's what we've been using. We've been using the SoundPool builder to create our SoundPool. So API level 21, let's take a look at the distribution of APIs. That would mean anything below the Lollipop version. But why is Android Studio helpfully pointing out that this code isn't compatible with earlier versions? Do you remember when we first started this tutorial and created the project? We decided to target the, a larger amount of Android versions so we could reach more users. You don't have to go back and rewatch that video. I'll show you how to check which version is the minimum version you're targeting. If you remember this Gradle scripts area, I know I said that we will never look in there again, but there's a build script here with some definitions. And in here you can see that the minimum SDK version we were targeting was 15 and the current one is 21. So we're targeting ice cream sandwich as the minimum and we're writing for lollipop 21. Enough of uh, that chit chat, let's get down to some coding. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to use an if statement to check the version of Android running. Well, we can check the we can check the version running by using this if statement. If build.version.sdkint is greater than or equal to lollipop, we can safely use the code that we've just created. I'll just cut and paste that. Otherwise, we have to use the deprecated method. And it used to be much simpler to create a sound pool. One line of code. You can see now that the warnings of the compatibility issues have disappeared. We're also warned down here that this method is deprecated, but that's okay because it will only ever be called if an older version of Android is running. Our onCreate uh, method's getting a bit messy. I'd like to take all of this code and put it in a custom method. Let's call it uh, create sound pool. We can just cut it and paste it straight in. We can then just call our method in the onCreate method to create the sound pool. I'm also going to create one for loading the sounds. Cut that and paste it. And we'll call that in our onCreate method. So we've now created two member methods to create the sound pool and load some sounds into that sound pool and we've called them in our onCreate method. The app should run exactly the same way as it did before and we're just about to test it. So here's our application. We'll find that coin up button, tap it and we have the sound. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's click on this client user.net button and get to our uh, intent activity. Great. Let's go back to our sound area. Let's hit that button again. Oh dear. Oh dear. Nothing. Nothing is happening. Well, it's a great opportunity for more troubleshooting. So what's happened when we clicked the button to leave our main activity? So we've, we've got our main activity. We've hit a button and we've gone over to our my first button activity to see the background image and then we've gone back. If we zoom into the main activities lifecycle, when the activity leaves it runs the on pause method and if you remember we followed good practices and on the on pause method we released the sound pool. When we returned to the activity we resumed. We didn't go back to the on create. The activity was already running. So we don't have any sounds loaded in our sound pool. This is easily fixed. And because we've created these member methods, we can just cut 
sorry, copy them and paste them in our on resume member method. So that should catch us returning back from another activity and reload the sounds for us. Let's see if it works. There's the splash screen again. It's quite, quite long, quite a lot of time taking up. But I might reduce that for the tutorial purposes. If we find our coin up button, sound is back on. Now let's navigate away from our activity and let's uh, go back to our activity. I hope this has worked. Excellent. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.